And then there was me, Treyonce. <laughs> Hey YouTubers, it's your girl Trey Trey. It's been a long time and I'm kind of starting over a little bit. I don't know. Um, anyway, um, my weight loss journey, it's been a whirlwind. And when I say whirlwind, it's been ups, downs, arounds, flips, turns you know, somersaults. It's been a lot. And I am nearing the the end as well as the beginning. Um, the last time that I post, I think I was probably like, wait, four or five months into my weight loss requirement. I want to say I could be wrong. Um, I've been finished with all of my requirements since May. And this is where the frustration comes in right now. So I've been done with my weight loss requirements from my doctor, um, well, my surgeon, and his name is Dr. Cron. He's in San Bernardino, California at Western Bariatric Center. Um, he had me only do three out of like the six things that could possibly be done on the weight loss requirements for him I'm, as far as pre-op is concerned like my EKG um, my liver ultrasound um, psych eval and a few other things um, so I've, I've been done since May 2017 May 19th 2017 to be exact it is now August 31st yeah so basically um in that period of time I've stressed you know I um, got laid off of a job you know I've been trying to do my new business venture with my cupcakes um and being a full-time mom so my weight has gone up I have not been focusing I'm not gonna lie to you I'm gonna keep it all the way 100 I haven't been focusing on it. I'm just, once I see a date, then I'll get back on track. That's how I feel. And that's horribly wrong to say. Definitely shouldn't say it. De definitely shouldn't have that in my mental. But I do. So, now time to get things back on track. I was able to get clearance from my doctor. Finally, after getting dropped from a certain network on my insurance and my doctor not having not being in the same network having to switch like doctors three times just so that I can get a clearance then only to find out that I need um to see a cardiologist um not needed but you know in order for them to clear me that's what they wanted so that's what I did or scheduled to do only to find out that this is no longer approved because my doctor switched networks without telling me. Blah, 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 blah. Long story short, <clears throat> it went from me being done in May and needing just clearance to August. And here we are. Finally was able to find a decent doctor that I absolutely am in love with. I love him so much. He was so on board for this, not even knowing my whole health history <clears throat> but just running his own test and saying hey you know what this is what you want to do I'm down for it what do I need to do went to go see a cardiologist drove like to Timbuktu to do it because everyone else was scheduled out for late August early September so I was able to get this done August 3rd finally your girl is finished but wait there's more drama so I get this done August 3rd I'm like, yes, 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 I'm clear. Send it over to my doctor. He clears me only for the surgical institute to say, well, he technically didn't clear you. He said that the cardiologist cleared you. So you still need clearance from him. So it's been a waiting game. Now, as of yesterday, they call me back saying, we're going to make sure that we take care of everything for you. We're going to submit your paperwork to your insurance. Should be seven to 10 business days for an approval. But wait, I'm not waiting for y'all to get no paper or no kind of email or nothing like that. I got the app from IEHP and I can see when they approve prior to me getting in the mail or prior to you receiving it. So that's what I'm going to be checking. That right there. 
anyway um so yeah I'm like not loving like how fat my face looks and this is another reason why this is another reason why that I need this done um I don't want to make this a very long video but hopefully I get some some people watching to um who are going through the same journey um it's a waiting game and in that time like there's still things that I need to do on my own I need to get back in the gym no excuses I can't just say oh I'm gonna have this surgery and then I'll get back because I know that that's not good habits um I still need to stop smoking I've tried but when I got laid off from my job you know that just brought a whole nother stress to my life that I did not need and I picked it back up yeah I did heavily so I'm trying to to quit I definitely have to because like my my date could be around right around the corner you know like um and I definitely don't want to have any type of risk happen um during surgery or after um what else um eating habits I definitely need I I've never been like a super bad eater though I haven't it's just I know what I should eat I know what I shouldn't and when I'm in my feelings I get emotional and I just say you know what fuck it YOLO so I definitely need to switch that up um but besides that I've noticed really quickly don't want to drag this on but I've noticed um that with it getting closer to things actually happening for me um I've had really vain thoughts it went from I need the surgery so bad because I just want to run and play with my kids. I want to be more energetic. I want to go to the gym. I want to be healthier. I want to feel healthier. I want to breathe healthier. It went from that and it's still very much that. But also the vain thoughts started to kick in. I want to be skinny. I want to frolic on someone's beach in a thong if I wanted to. You know, um, I want to, you know, be looked at more attention and I'm really like kind of disappointed in myself for having such vain thoughts now and it hasn't even happened like um because I'm just you know when when you're plus size you kind of get used to the small section of a store and then it's like when you're thinking about this surgery you're thinking oh well I fuck a plus size section I got the whole store you know um so I can't help it I think it's natural I think it's it's a it's like a little bit healthy to you know to kind of think about those things but I definitely want to make sure that I am doing this for the right reasons I want to make sure that I am going to stick to the the diet plan that they give me I want to make sure that I do continue these good habits and I do stop the bad habits and um I've actually gotten like two of my friends on board with me to um join so they're actually one's almost done with her three month requirement she only had to do three um and my other close friend she actually just got like signed up so she might not even have to do the the requirements because she's already been going through that with her her pcp so <clears throat> i'm excited like i have i have support and then i have uh, a, a, a cluster or a circle of friends to actually be on the journey with me so this is a very exciting moment and um, I'm going to start doing more YouTube's like videos. I just feel like because nobody really watches me like I'm just talking to myself you know maybe a few but I'm gonna try to like start picking it up you know what I mean do this like every week or so. Um, right now currently I haven't weighed myself because I know that I've overeaten but the last time that I did weigh myself I was at 250. I started off at 267. Um, and my lowest weight during the six month requirement, I got to 238. So, um, it has fluctuated. And like I said, I haven't really been doing what I need to do, but I'm definitely going to make sure that I get back on the bandwagon within the next week or so, so that we can have a successful weight loss journey. Anyway, I am your girl, Trey Trey of all trades. Because I do everything. I do hair. I do makeup. I do cupcakes. I do accounting. I do everything. I am your girl Trey. I'm going to start being more active with me, my videos and starting a journey. An actual real life journey like weight loss journey. Like this is what it is. No sugar coat, nothing. You see, I'm, it's not glammed up. It's not. I'm not going to glam up nothing for you. Anyway, be blessed. Be productive. 
be ambitious. Be everything that you can be. Be you. And uh, I will see you later.